Hello there, my name's Carlo, um, and welcome to another After Effects um, tutorial. Well, it's not re really a tutorial, it's basically teaching you how to get the um, optical flares um, bundle um, from Video Copilot. Now, it is quite a pricey plugin, um, it's $165, um, but it is well, well worth the money. Um, the things you can do with it is just absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, it's just unprecedented. Um, ha having a look on a web page here, you can get a rough idea um, what you can do with optical, optical flares and what you can create, visual lighting effects. Um, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. So basically, I've already bought um, this product. Um, I paid $165, like I said, uh, from Video Copilot. So, I mean, if you want to buy this, please go to this website. Um, it's absolutely incredible. Um, basically um, it's uh, Andrew Kramer's site you know he created them and you know it's it's basically well worth the money um, for what you're getting so basically I've downloaded um, I bought it and downloaded it and now I'm in After Effects here um, and I'll just quickly show you how you go into um, optical flares and basically the sort of effects you can do with it very quickly so basically what you want to do is this, we're just going to create a new composition for now keep it as standard um, settings um, and then basically what we want to do is we need to create a new layer or a new solid shall I say um, we'll keep that black for now and we'll just apply it and then we've got our solid here but now once we right click go up to effects when we come down to our video copilot um, we should have our optical flares right there these other ones are also other packs that I've got so when we click that um, you'll get this optical flare 3D lens and it will give you your first optical flare which is here um, to start you off with but then when you want to go into the pro um, section to where you select and create all your flares all you do is come up to this section here click on options like so and it will bring you your optical flare box up like this and within this you've got all the optical flares um, you can basically dream of really. It's absolutely mind blowing the stuff you've got here. Um, there's some really, really gorgeous flares within this. Um, they're absolutely lovely. Um, and you could just play around with this and customize it um, to your heart's content. So basically, let's just get a flare up here. <coughs> let's find a nice one. So we want this one. It will bring it up in a demo window here for you. And with this, you can change. You've got all your settings here so you can make it brighter. Um, you can scale it up so you can make it bigger um, more dynamic you can also um, change the colors within your flares so if I want it to be sort of like a, um, like a blue or a purple or something like that I can add that to it and you can preset these as well so you can have your background color to like a lighter blue like that I mean you can play around with it and until your heart's content trying to create some really amazing flares and then what you do, once you've done all that you've done to it, and what you want to do to it, yeah, you just come up here, click OK, and then bang, it brings it into After Effects for you straight away. So, say for instance, um, I'll open this up now, go to Effects, go to my Optical Flares, um, let's take Select Position. So basically, I'm going to start in this position quickly, um, so we're going to want it about four seconds long, um, and then... I'll go like that, that's the effect I want. Beautiful. So now when you sort of render backwards or you render, you get a nice effect like that. So yeah, I mean like I said, it's worth it's worth the money. Um the sort of things you can do to your videos is quite amazing. Um I'll just quickly show you very quickly, that's just it there. I mean that's just me buggering around with it, playing around. So we can just go back into our optical flare settings as well. So you've got a background. This is a new feature for um, the new optical um, flares within CS6. Um, if you click on this one here, um, you can actually see your background. So if you're working with something within After Effects, for instance, and you've got a background and then you stick an um, optical flare over it, you don't, have to keep, you don't have to keep chopping and changing. Um, to see what it looks like because obviously this flare here can look really good against the black but then when you add it to your picture it could look absolutely crap um, so it gives you the option to sort of tweak it a bit um, until your heart's content and then basically um, add it to your um, 
film um, and your your effects um, the way you want it to so um, I hope this has been helpful um, and that you've enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe um, and thanks for listening I really appreciate your time